Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Outbreak. We last did a mission with the gentleman who you see on the screen here with the bowl cut in the face, with Pyros, who wanted us to go into a location in exchange for some information that he provided us, or is going to provide us in mail. I haven't been in my mail yet. I have been here and I, I changed my desktop and audio, which is why we didn't get the little to you know, the sound to let me know I have new but, uh, the items that we got at the location he wanted us to go, he chants a magic spell, got a bunch of lousy equipment, equipped everything, and got every negative effect from the equipment that he put on. It turned orange. For a moment. I don't know if he stayed orange or not. I can't remember. Uh, but just a bunch of silly shenanigans. You know, regular Pyros stuff. His real Pyros quest. It was a great time. I had fun. I laughed. I cried. I probably sneezed at some point. Anyways, without further ado, let's check our mail. It's from Aura. Speak Ulu. Please come to Zeta Twone. I must tell you something. Alright. Well, I guess she can go to that town. So, let's, let's go to town. Don't think there's anything on the board. Oh, there is! Okay. Let's see what's on the board. Maybe something new. Maybe another Golden Gob race, which is what I was saying. Nope, there's the Let's Play Tag form with nothing on it. Oh, wait! Let's Play Tag Dig Do. Let's Play Tag Returns. Okay. That's how they're doing it. It's another one. Predictable. It was predictable. I'd said it last episode. Zayna T. It's my turn, Gob. Knew you would get this far. I'll be waiting for you at detestable gambler's scent, Gob. Come alone, Gob. Which isn't fair, because there's been three of them these past two races, and there's going to be three of them this race. So we're going to see what Aura wants, and I might just go do the Golden Gob race. They don't play fair, those, those goblins. It takes a while to actually hunt them down. Especially in this third one, it's difficult. I hope that there would be some trick to be able to do it. Haven't found it, though. I'm in the wrong town, because we tried to go to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Back here. Wondering if I should attempt to go to that other location that's like level 70. Hey, Balmuck sent me an email saying he wants to talk. Hmm. Email? Oh. Bomb Monk is one of us now. One of us. One of what? us. What? He sided with Leos. He's so arrogant. A coward and... And he's here. Oh. Bomb Monk. The... Strong. And is the descendant of Fiona and... Black Rose. What? <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. What? What? You're throwing me off! This feeling... Ara? Ara? Hey! And what are you talking about? I heard Ara's voice. She said, She's waiting at Lambda. Merciless Grieving Furnace. Hmm. Lambda. That girl is calling. That girl? Aura. The girl that gave me the bracelet. Let's go to Lambda. 
Merciless grieving furnace. Well, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like Wall Monk's probably gonna go with us. Uh, maybe I'll just do that instead. Instead of doing a Golden God race. I wanted to go to the Lambda server anyways. Wait, did I want to go to the Lambda server? Yes, yes I did. Because there's also another... Go to the work. She wants us to go here, which is level 62, not bad. Stocking Betrayed Nothingness is one that I wanted to go check out. It's a level 70 area, which is the only reason why I haven't gone to it. Keyword on the board, a red wand is witnessed here. And I'm wondering if uh, I should just save it and go check it out. Because it gave it to us so early in the game. Maybe I was supposed to just go there and just some cutscene would happen or some interaction of some kind. Like maybe I don't have to actually explore the dungeon. So I'm gonna save it. And then we're gonna head on over that way. I'm gonna take Ball Monk and Black Rose with us. Hey, where is that guy? We're still looking for the person who needs, uh, what was it, three tower? The three tower? I have to do, I do, I have to go. Three floor tower. I gotta go do some inventory management, but let's get our party together first. Ball monk. I'll handle it. And let's get Black Rose. Okay, here I come. Alright, um. Depends what you got, Tim. It's a silver axis. Do you have any good weapons? I have professional. Artisan axe is a good weapon. And Tanami, I'm assuming, is a good weapon. I haven't really checked Wave Masters here recently. However, I currently don't have a character in my party that could use those weapons. So, let me do my inventory management. And we'll be right back. And we're back. Did our little inventory management. Now we are going to go to our word list and give Stocking Betrayed Nothingness a look-see just to see what's there. Let's just go see. Said something about a red wand floating around here. So I'm curious if we're just going to see a cutscene or what's going to happen. Really got to fight things that are level 70 here. All right, no cutscene. Uh, do I want to fight something here? Maybe we should get into a fight with something here. Just to see what we're dealing with and if it's a big struggle. Yeah. Maybe we'll come back another time. Team to try to fight. I assume you skills. I don't really know. It is a thunder type. It is thunder tolerant. I do this attack. I can do it. Sorted. Oh my God. It does 
lightning attacks. <laughs> Gotta get him down real low. Nice leveled up. Uh, so yeah, things here are difficult, and I think we should come back to this when we are more leveled. Let's leave. I was glad I got to fight that thing, though. I wanted to fight it in Terajima's quest, and it was just a little cutscene monster. And I get to fight it. Alright. Wordless, merciless, grieving furnace. Let's go. the way I play the game. I have to clear the field. And if we're just gonna struggle our way through clearing the field, we can't do it. Let's get that fairy's orb going. I can already see right in front of us. Portal just looming and waiting. Our first fight. Let us strengthen ourselves. Uh, I'm not gonna use mine. <laughs> you use yours. So level 40 item, and nothing we need. Let's see what we're gonna get. Monsters! Everyone, use skills! Oh, I'll get hit with the death effect. so he can recover. And I'll take one of this so my SP goes up. And there you have it. I mean, that was the second portal, but it was the first fight. So I'm going to clear the field. We'll be back at the last fight. And then we're going to go into the dungeon and kick some ass. Right back. All right. Now it is time to get into the last fight. And it's these guys. skills, but since I had a level 3 light attack, I thought I'd just clean house. And there you have it, lots of dark monsters. It's those guys, and then there's this oversized reef sticker, meh. Uh, oversized skeleton guy. That's a dark type monster. I'm sure we'll run into him in the dungeon. Pretty cool looking. I, I don't ever remember fighting anything like it. Rick D. Rick D. 
Rickeem. I guess I'll give Bombmonger Rickeem. Rickeem! To queue it all out on first day. It's a triple. So cool. Alright, let's get over to the dungeon. There's Orb. The lovers. Let's just go right over here and go for this portal. There it is, that's the big skeleton guy. Dark type. He has some, uh... Pretty strong attacks. In fact, I probably should be... Using some of these to try and stop. Him. Go ahead with the moon. And then just go at him with the tempest. So nice when it's you know what you're getting out of your random pool could be a restorative could have been I guess burning oil is what we're gonna get here yes yes it is that was just good time hands of Ronan another burning oil I think Burning oil is probably the one that we have so much of that when I run into a person who needs burning oil, I'm just gonna be trading for all the items they have. I did that for somebody. It was someone who uh, wanted pure water. And I managed to trade them out of all their items. And once you do that, they still wander around. But when you try to talk to them, they're like, ah, oh, it's only one item per person so you can't trade them again a lot of the lovers a lot of the lovers and uh, we need the hate man that's the one we want do not need the lovers and don't really use the other ones outside of the moon and the hate man store just because we run into them in dungeons. So like unless I'm completely out out. And uh I won't buy it. And we never seem to really run out. Oh, he feels when he does that. Oh. 
and he's out of here. With level 40 armor, are you gonna give me nothing? You're gonna give me the lovers and a fireball scroll. No talkie talkie. Alright. But maybe a cutscene. That would have been the place to have it. It's usually how they do it. Maybe we get it on the way back. I'm level 64 now. We were 62 when we started this video. open oh boy makes you wonder what the third floor is gonna be like let's get ready Big scene very nice Two of the servers. It's at Lambda and this is 
Zeta. Lovers. Fire Tempest. Restoratives. Alright, let's go see what's downstairs. Treasure chests. With the moon. Okay, it's just gonna be two empty rooms and then going into a uh Maybe a boss room, maybe it's gonna be a white room. Place your bets now. I'm gonna say a white room. I'm gonna say it's the boss. Usually they like hype up bosses. If all portals closed, I'm I'm gonna assume we are not fighting a boss, we are going into a white room. Here we go. Oh, not a white room. It's Leos. Aura. Damage data. Don't you do it, Leos. <laughs> this I think she wants to say something uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh is it a boss battle huh what what is it something like that exists it's it's that thing again it's big too big can we defeat it it's gonna beat us this time. It's growing. What was its name again? Big Monster Wow Wow. Scary Monster Bang Bang. Like physical is back on the menu. Should actually say interesting. Yes. Oh god, it's gonna do a thing. Jihad. Oh god, I went on jihad. Struck by lightning. Uh, let's go ahead. Barbara, Barbara, Rose. It's back to being physical tolerant. Hit it with magic. So the way. What's happening?
manage to get that ring seam off in time, though. Oh god, oh my god. We got a flame. A mi mega do, mega do flame. Big bad birdie flame. Yeah, that one hurts. That hurts a lot. Very Switch to magic. I will do 
Good, it's the end. Oh, he's got a scary face. Just gonna do something. He's gonna leave. That's what he's gonna do. Nope, oh, he's definitely gonna launch an attack from up there. Okay, now he's gonna leave. Okay, it's, we're, we're good, I guess. Oh, scary cute guy. What do you think, Leos? Yeah, speechless, huh? Damn right, better leave. Hey, by any chance, is Kubia trying to stop you from meeting her? Yeah. Stop? I don't know what that means. After what's happened, that's what I think. But it always runs away. I don't get that part. How but does it run? What happens if I meet Aura? Why does Kubia want to stop that? Because I'm going to kick its butt every time. How should I know? Think about it yourself. Because it's terrified of that girl. So, what is it? I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know. She's got an idea. I see. She likes keep her secrets. Kubi is becoming stronger. It's growing like us. I'm a big, strong boy. The infection is getting worse. Especially when I touch it. You can't it. keep fighting on, scattered like this. What do you mean? Instead of a party of three, we'll have a party of 20. Leos. Leos? Yeah. I'm thinking if Leos lends us a hand... <laughs> Last time I didn't even lift a finger when he was in that fight. You do realize it's Leos, right? Are you insane? He's not gonna lift a hand. He writes code for a living. He can barely get out of the chair. Leos wants to restore this world as well. I'm sure he'll lend us a hand. He was gonna nuke the server. He doesn't want to save this place? I agree with you. I'm pretty sure Leos won't help us. And with her. It'll be fine. Leos knows it too. Yeah, well, he's got his corporate side that won't let him say yes easily, but... After seeing that Cubia fight, he put his two weeks notice in. We need the information within CC Corp itself, too. The question is whether Leos will accept Helba. He's got a thing against girls. Yeah, that's the tricky part. Oh, all right. I'll summon those two, so you deal with them. Summon? How? This item that lets me summon them. Just watch. She's gonna throw a temper tantrum. Actually, the problem is what to do after they're summoned. Did you say something? No. <laughs> Just mumbling under my breath. All right, now I'll just go ahead and save. Mm. 
new mail. Save the game. Save the world. Oh yeah, look at that, we're level 64. We'll be at level 70 in no time. But there you have it, folks. That was a boss battle we just did. Did not see that coming at all. Guess I should have when we go and meet Aura. Usually something bad happens. Or if we go to locations where they're like, I saw a ghost girl. Something bad happens. But, well, boss battle. And we got past Cubia. The damn monster that had me stuck when I was a teenager in middle school. Had me stuck on mutation. Couldn't get past it. But look at us now. We'll take down Cubia every time. We have confidence. Confidence that I didn't have as a middle schooler. <laughs> Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of .hack Outbreak. Bye.